Hey guys, generic username here. I'm back again with yet another Time Spot Remastered Booster Pack opening. So far we pulled some cool cards out of it, like a, what is it, a Tarmogoyf and, eh, I think we got a Prime Time way back in the day, but yeah, let's see what else we can get. And of course, if you end up enjoying the video, feel free to leave it a like and well, subscribe to my channel. Any support I can get will be greatly appreciated. All right, so what is that first card? That first card would be 4C for three in a blue. It's a sorcery that says scry four, then draw two cards. Four mana to look at four cards and draw two. That's pretty good. I play that. Okay, so next one here is Primal Plasma for three in a blue. It's a creature elemental shapeshifter, and it says, as Primal Plasma enters the battlefield, it becomes your choice of a 3-3 three, three creature, a 2-2 two, two creature with flying, or a 1-6 creature with defender. Yeah, so you can make it a evasive flyer for four mana. You make it a base 3-3 three, three, or just a big old blocker. Yeah, you know, this reminds me of like another card from like a uh, original Muradin block. I want to say it was from Fifth Dawn. I think it was Plasma Elemental. I think it the, was the name, but yeah, it just, the art gives me that same vibe of it. Yeah. But yeah, I like the fact that you get to choose like what it is when it comes to the play. Okay. So now we have something that was reprinted actually in Strixhaven. Grinning Ignis for two and a red. It is a creature elemental that has pay red and return it to your owner's hand to add double colorless and a red. Activate this ability only anytime you could activate a, or cast a sorcery. And it's a two, two. So two, two for three is okay. But the fact you can return it to, you know, net mana later on, that's solid. So it has the ability to return itself and give you something back in return. I like it. All right, and now we have Reflex Sliver for three and a green. It has a creature sliver and it says, all sliver creatures have haste and it's a two, two. Yeah, that's good. This haste is always good. I can, I'll never complain about that. All right, and now we have Corpulent Corpse for five and a black. It is a creature zombie, it has fear, and then it has suspend five for a single black, and it's a three, three. A three, three for six with fear is way or costed, but the fact you can get it out for a single black with suspend five, that's okay. I mean, I probably wouldn't want to draft it, but at least it has evasion with fear, so it's not absolutely terrible. I don't know. Anyways, next card here we have is Thrill of the Hunt for a single green is an instant that says target creature gets plus one plus two until end of turn with flashback for a single white. So it's a pump spell you can use twice. Eh, that's pretty good. Pump spells are always good. All right, so now we have Temporal Isolation for a one and a white. It's an enchantment aura with flash, and then it says enchant creature, enchant creature has shadow, and then prevent all damage that would be dealt by enchanted creature. So, Pretty much it's like it puts the creature in its own little world or isolation, if you will. Yeah, that's uh this is a weird twist on pacifism, which I, I think is kinda cool. I mean creature can still attack, technically, it just won't do damage. So you can still trigger attack triggers and stuff like that, but yeah, I, I like it. Oh man. And here's a classic. Terramorphic Expanse. It's a land that has tap, sack it. Search your library for a basic land card, put it on a battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. Yeah, this is Evolving Wilds before Evolving Wilds. Yeah, this is a, uh, uh, yeah, this is actually when I got back into the game around Alara block. Yeah, this is like one of the first lands that I saw that I was like, oh man, that's kind of a cool effect. It helps me fix my colors. That's wonderful. Yeah, but yeah, it's very solid card for sealed because it lets you fix your colors. All right, so now we have Fathom Seer for one in the blue it is a creature illusion. It has morphed to return two islands uh, to its owner's hand. And then when it's turned face up, you get to draw two cards. And it's a one three. Yeah. So it comes down as a two two beater, which is not bad. And then you can flip it up to get more cards if you need it. I mean, you have to return two islands, so that hurts a lot. But yeah, I don't know how to feel about it. I mean, the fact that you can draw cards with is nice. So you literally can put four cards back in hand, put the two islands and the two you draw, but I don't know. I mean, I remember this was reprinted in, reprinted in the Jace Race for Aska uh, dual deck. That's actually where I first saw this card. So yeah, that's it's kind of cool to see that. 
All right, and with that, we're on to our uncommons. The first one being Cautery Sliver for one, or well, for a red and a white. It is a creature sliver, and it says all slivers have pay one, sack this permanent. This permanent deals one damage to any target. And then they also all have pay one, sack this permanent, prevent the next one damage to be dealt to target failure, planeswalker, or sliver creature this turn. Yeah, so, I mean, slivers in general are just cool, but the fact that you can make it so your slivers can do damage or have reach to straight to your opponent, yeah, that's that's solid. Okay, so the next card we have here is Dusk Rider Peregrine for five and a white. It is a creature bird, has flying protection from black, and then has suspend three for one and a white, and three, three. A 3-3 three, three for 6 with flying and protection from black is eh, but the fact you can get it out quickly is kind of nice too. So you can really get it out by like turn, what is it, 2, then 3, 4, 5? Yeah, you get it out by turn 5, so that's okay. I mean, it's a sealed card. No, no two ways around it. You're never going to play like Commander. And ooh, this is actually a personal favorite of mine. Scribe Ranger. For one and a green is a creature fairy, has flash, flying, protection from blue, and then it has return of force you control to its owner's hand, untap target creature. Activate this ability only once each turn, and it's a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, back when I was playing uh, in Legacy, this is part of the Maverick deck that I used to play there. Because you could use it, you would return a forest, so like say you're Savannah, and then, so you go ahead and untap your Knight of the Reliquary. And then you just go ahead and crack them out of the war quarry to go find your, your utility land, like a wasteland or something. And then you go ahead, get your wasteland, blow up a permanent. Yeah, this is... And then just go ahead and replay your savannah or something like that. Yeah, this card is sick. I love it. And in fact, it's pro blue. And it can come down at any time. So you can surprise untap your knight too to block, which is really good. Granted now, let Maverick doesn't even play like Knight of the Relic Quarry because it's just too slow. It, it's man. I mean, it still follows the land destruction package, but yeah, this card is just cool. All right, and that should bring us to our rare, and it's Morongada Petroglyphs for three and a green. Yeah, we got this one before. It's an enchantment, and it says creatures with no abilities get plus two plus two. Yeah, it's a card for vanilla tribal. Amazing. I'm not gonna go over it too much, but yeah, I actually like it as a card. All right, and with that, we should get our special card, and that is <gasps> Ancient Den. Ooh, that's actually kind of cool. I didn't know Ancient Den was in the set. But yeah, Ancient Den. It's an artifact land that says tap to add a white. Yeah, this land cycle was busted back in Original Meriden and actually had to be banned from Sealed. It was that good. All right, and with that, we should be able to, we got a foil, and that is. <gasps> Ooh, a foil Magus of the Future. That's kind of cool. Okay, so Magus of the Future. It costs two and triple blue. It's a creature human wizard. And it says, play with the top card your library revealed. You may play lands and cast spells from the top of your library. And it's a 2-3. Yeah, for if you need something at five spot in blue, this is a very good card to use. And we got something else, and it's just a token. Yippee. Woo, tokens. Okay. All right. And with that, that's everything I got for you guys today. I think we did okay on that one. Still not super exciting, but, you know, I'm not going to complain. We got a foil Magus of the Future, which is pretty cool. I know it's not worth a lot, but it's still pretty cool. Got an Ancient Den. And we got a Miranda Petroglyph. Oh, and we got Scribe Ranger, who's really cool too. But that's besides the point. Okay, yeah, that's everything I have for you guys today. If you ended up enjoying the video, feel free to leave it a like and, well, subscribe to the channel. Other than that, I hope you have a good day, a good night, and I'll catch you next time. Peace!